when I was about 10, uh, my aunt um, during the uh, World Series uh, were Baltimore and the Pirates, uh, I think it was a clip of Roberto Clemente, I think he hit a double or something. And that got my attention. I went outside and, and um, cut my grandmother's uh, broom in half and I started hitting rocks. After that, uh, the next year I played Little Leagues and from there I kept playing, playing the game. What I liked um, about his, um, him and his career is that, you know, he was a great player, he was a leader, he represented the, uh, Puerto Rico, he was also a very caring person, he helped. Uh, the way he, that he died was trying to help uh, other people. Giving back is, I mean, we've been grateful to have uh, given so much to us, to the game, and uh, by living in this community, uh, to us was important to give something back. He has been one of the pillars in terms of baseball, but I think he's also been a, a pillar of the community, and I think he and his wife, um, Holly, have done a lot of great work here in Seattle uh, with their foundation over the years. I think Seattle's a better place because they were here. Roberto Clemente Award is given annually in Roberto's honor to the baseball player who combines outstanding skills on the baseball field and dedicated work in the community. This year's winner is Edgar Martinez. That, that was an uh, incredible feeling. Because um, I started my career because Roberto Clemente. And then I wanted to be like Roberto Clemente. And then 30 plus years receiving the Clemente Award. When that happened, I got to reflect all the way back to when I started loving this game uh, since I was a kid. So it means a lot and it was very special to, uh, to be able to get that award.